Ja, hallo zusammen und seid gegrüßt zu einer weiteren Folge von Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trades from Zero. Wir sind immer noch auf der Suche nach dem Verfasser des Drohbriefs, der Elia Platea angedroht hatte, bei ihrer nächsten Show äh, sie umzunieten und sind jetzt hier bei Mr. Grimwood gelandet, der uns im Grunde genommen die ersten stichhaltigen Informationen liefern konnte. Denn er kann tatsächlich was mit dem Absender, nämlich mit Yin, anfangen und hat uns jetzt schon äh, ein bisschen was über ihn erzählt, nämlich dass dieser Name mit einem gewissen Assassin und Killer Klientel im Zusammenhang steht und wir werden jetzt hoffentlich noch ein paar mehr Informationen bekommen, damit wir dann im Nachgang idealerweise wissen, wie wir weiterhin zu verfahren haben und ihm vielleicht sogar auf die Schliche kommen können. Wir werden sehen. Uh, Tio ist hier gerade am uh, fragen. However, why would this so-called legendary assassin send a threat to Elia Platier? Uh, right, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, wait, what if it's not Rivar she's tied to but Hayu? Ooh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Hmm, Hayu is a powerful organization operating out of Calvert's Eastern Quarter. With that in mind, I wouldn't be shocked if they knew of the Eastern Assassin. Uh, I get ya. If that's the case, Garcia's reaction makes a lot more sense. We know for a fact that Ravash and Hayu are at each other's throats. And if Hayu and Yin are teaming up... Despite not being directly tied to Ravash, it would be highly likely that the Mafia is actually aware of his presence ist, nee, nicht actually acutely, das klingt ja fast gleich, aber ist was anderes. That in and of itself would support Lloyd and Ellie's theory. Hmm, an intriguing thought. But that brings us back to your previous question, Tio. Why would Yin threaten Elia Platier, the lead star of Ark and Seal? Hmm, well, we still need to figure that one out. We know that Elia and Rivage Don had an argument at a party. Could it somehow be related to that? I don't know. I didn't really... It didn't really sound like something that warranted a threat. Besides, why would Hayu react to it at all if they're against Rivage? Yeah. Any chance the name is a coincidence and we're dealing with someone completely unrelated? I don't think so. Every clue we've gathered so far has pointed in a particular direction. I think we're still too early in the investigation to disregard anything that's not quite lining up. Hey, guys, not to get too ahead of myself, but why don't we try paying Hayu a visit? Ja, ich weiß sogar noch ganz genau welches Gebäude. What? Wow, man, are you off your rocker today? Ja, so habt ihr am Anfang auch reagiert, als er in der letzten Folge vorgeschlagen hat, bei der Mafia mal anzufragen. Und das hat uns ein bisschen was gebracht, würde ich sagen. Think about it like this. We know that Hayu is a big enough threat to Ravage to have gotten their attention. And Hayu has only continued to spread its influence and chip away at Ravage's hold on Crossbeard's criminal underworld. Depending on the circumstances, they could prove even more dangerous than Ravage. You may be right. I see, this might be the perfect chance to check whether or not that is true. Hold up, it's not like we can just barge in on them. We have no idea what kind of people we're up against, Lloyd. Hmm, actually, I recently met the manager of Hayu Trading's Crossbell Branch. Is that so? What? Seriously? He came to me for counsel to ensure there were no legal barricades preventing his business from operating in Crossbell. Ey, du plauderst hier voll die Kunden interna aus. I saw no harm in the request, so I accepted the job. And it was then that I met him. I see. What kind of person was he? Hmm, the word shrewd, the word shrewd certainly comes to mind. He is relatively young, but he already knows his way around things. Genau wie Lloyd. He has a silver tongue and is unflappably confident. Overall, I'd say he's extremely intelligent and not someone that can be taken lightly. An intellectual, then? Sounds like he's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Definitely not the kind of guy who will give us any straight answers. True, but this will be a good chance to meet with him. What do you say? Uh, uh, okay, you won me over. I am also quite curious about this branch manager. 
Same here, I know a bit about revenge, but nothing about Hayu. We'll be going in blind. You're right, Lloyd. This will be a good opportunity to learn more about how they operate. It's decided then. Uh, thanks for all your help, Mr. Grimwood. It looks like we'll be able to press on with our investigation after all. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> you remind me of the way Guy used to work his cases. Immer wieder der Vergleich. Ich weiß nicht, was das mit Lloyd am Ende macht, ob er das gut findet oder eher nicht. Uh, anyway, Hayu works under the guise of a respectable trading company. Stopping by their office shouldn't prove too dangerous. However, never forget that their true identity is that of a massive influential crime syndicate. Don't let your guard down around them. Yes, sir. Thank you. We keep that in mind. Hmm. Also bisher standen wir da aber immer vor verschlossenen Türen. Also warum soll das diesmal anders sein, auch wenn wir nicht klopfen? We can definitely say whether or not there's a connection between Yin and Haiyu. However, the fact remains that Haiyu's branch manager is quite the cunning man. And considering that behind the fa fa facade of a trade hides an enormous crime syndicate, I recommend you all be extremely careful. Ja, sowieso. We can definitely say whether or not there's a connection. Fact remains. Na gut. Dann hoffe ich mal, dass ich da auch richtig bin, wenn ich da jetzt nochmal anklopfe. If I remember correctly, Hayus Crossbow Branch Manager is named Kao Li. Mr. Grimwood tells me that you should watch yourself around him. Please be careful, everyone. Ja, das hat er uns auch selber schon gesagt. Aber Kaoli. Ich glaube, der Name, der ist beim letzten Mal noch nicht gefallen. Warum kommen wir hier eigentlich nicht rein? Das ist bestimmt nur das Klo. Aber das hat dafür eine ganz schön breite Tür. Vielleicht ist es auch einfach behindertengerecht. So, und nun? Verraten wir uns, wo es als nächstes hingeht. Wahrscheinlich Harbor District. Alright, let's make our way to Hayu Trading. I think there's somewhere by the pier. Correct. Our destination should be in the northeast corner of the Harbor District. They are apparently located right by the river. Oh, we're talking about that red eastern looking building. It's, it's surprising to think that a crime syndicate's headquarters is in the same area as the IBC and the Crossbell Times buildings. I suppose it's no matter. Let's try paying them a visit. Ja, die sind halt dort, wo es wahrscheinlich am teuersten ist, so sein... Äh, sein Standort aufzubauen. Also an Kohle wird es den vermutlich nicht mangeln. Ich vergesse immer wieder, über welche Taste ich in das Menü komme. Aber diesmal haben wir wirklich Zeit gespart. Also im Vergleich zum äh, zu Fuß laufen quasi. Ich weiß nicht, wann ich das nächste Mal in Amorica nochmal vorbeischauen soll wegen dem Rezept. Vielleicht, wenn wir hier mit Hayu fertig sind, kann ich ja nochmal kurz gucken und euch dann wieder rausschneiden. Keine Sorge. Ich weiß, dass das nicht das Allerspannendste ist. So, und nun? Uh, a sign is affixed to the lock door. Ja, das kennen wir schon. Are you trading limited crossbell branch? If you have business with us, please knock. Uh, this must be the place. Ach nee, das war in der Vergangenheit, glaube ich, so, dass die dann immer gesagt haben, wir haben hier kein Business, deswegen gehen wir wieder. Wir haben noch nie versucht zu klopfen und heute wird es anders sein. Uh, how do we proceed, Lloyd? Na, klopfen. Ja. Warum auch nicht? Deswegen sind wir hier. Excuse me, is anybody there? Wir werden bestimmt aus, aus dem Fenster irgendwie beäugt, aus der oberen Etage. Man's voice. And who might you all be? Uh, we're from the Crossbell Police Department, Special Support Section. We were hoping to ask your branch manager a few questions regarding a certain incident, if possible. Wait here for a moment. Ja, da bin ich jetzt gespannt, wer uns hier gleich empfängt. Well, here we go. Man, what kind of trouble are we getting ourselves into this time? I suppose we will find out very soon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Eastern man. I apologize for the wait. The branch manager will see you now. Please come in. Danke. Thank you. Uh, if you'll excuse us. Hmm. The branch manager will see you now. Please step inside. Uh... Ich weiß nicht, irgendwie habe ich ein mulmiges Gefühl bei der Sache. Ey, irgendwie fühle ich mich ja gerade voll an Yakuza erinnert. <lacht> Was haben wir denn hier? The door is shut tight. Ach, das ist eine Tür. Ich dachte, das wäre irgendwie so ein Aushang oder so. Okay, spannende Tür. Äh, 
Okay, der wird bestimmt hier rechts im Raum warten und hier kommen wir natürlich nicht rein. Wäre auch irgendwie komisch, wenn doch. Our apologies for making you wait. Right this way. This is the branch manager's room. Hm. Aber eigentlich sind, also objektiv betrachtet sind sie ja ganz nett. Also neutral nett so. Oh, how nice of you to finally visit. Tag. Interesting hair color. Vor allem passt seine Brille voll zu seiner Haarfarbe. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lloyd Bannings of the CPD Special Support Section. The pleasure is all mine. Die erinnert mich irgendwie ein bisschen an Wazy. Ich weiß nicht warum. Tachchen. I am Kaoli, Manager of IU Trading's Crossbell Branch. So you're Lloyd and you three must be Ellie, Randy and Tio, correct? Oh, da ist aber jemand gut informiert. Wahrscheinlich alles aus der Zeitung, aber da standen unsere Namen, glaube ich, gar nicht so drin. How do you... May I ask how you know of our names already? <lacht> Truth be told, I'm an avid reader of the Crossbell Times. Ja, aber da standen unsere Namen nicht drin. Da bin ich mir relativ sicher. I was mesmerized by your exploits and instantly became a fan. Though boorish of me, I decided to investigate your backgrounds through various intermediaries. Uh, is that so? Fühlt man sich ja gar nicht bespitzelt oder so. Yeesh, five seconds in and he's already holding all the cards. He is just as cunning and intelligent as we were told. Uh, it is an absolute honor to meet such an intriguing group as yourselves. What brings you to our office today? Was there a problem of some sort with our business operations? Uh, no, that's not it. We're actually in the middle of investigating an incident involving Ark and Seal. Ark and Seal, you say? Ah, uh, but of course. Crossbell's very own private theore the theoretical troop. Schweres Wort. I've been meaning to see one of their shows ever since I first arrived here, but work has kept me oh so busy, you know. I seem to recall them having announced their next production, correct? Yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, our investigation is related to an issue with their upcoming show. We'd actually like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Oh dear, it sounds like quite the predicament. Very well, I shall comply with your request, free of charge, of course. Das wäre noch schöner. So, kriegen wir wenigstens Tee? Was ist denn in diesen komischen Boxen da drin? Und warum stehen die anderen, außer Ellie und Lloyd? Hmm, Yin, you say? Uh, we are aware that Hayu's main office is located in the Republic's Eastern Quarter. We were thinking that due to that, you might be familiar with Yin. Interesting. Am I to assume that you're implying I have connections to this criminal named Yin? No, of course not. To be honest, we simply don't have a lot of info, so we're following up on any and all leads we have. Ah, is that so? Well, all right then. This may be rather basic information, but I can tell you some of the legends regarding Yin in more detail. We're listening. The name Yin holds a particularly strong influence within the Eastern Quarter. Uh, Ziyong Shu, an assassin hidden behind a mask and beneath a pitch black cloak. No one has ever gazed upon his true face. Das sind bisher die Infos, die wir eins zu eins auch von Grimwood schon bekommen haben. He appears like a shadow and vanishes like a phantom. His prey has never once escaped. And though it may seem preposterous, some say Yin may be immortal. Uh, nein, jetzt wird's sehr interessant. I immortal? What do you mean? Well, documents show that Yin has been operating as an assassin for at least a century. Ah, der wird wahrscheinlich sein Erbe immer irgendwie weitergeben an keine Ahnung. Und das hat sich über Generationen wahrscheinlich seinen Ruf dadurch aufgebaut. His rise into legend began shortly after the Democ democratization of the Calvert Republic. If you were to examine records from that time, Yin's name is frequently mentioned. Oder das ist einfach so ein, so ein Überbegriff für den stärksten, besten, krassesten Assassin aus der Region oder so. The demon draped in black sent one prominent figure after another to their grave during this chaotic period in history. Hmm, this story is getting more outlandish by the second. It's gonna just be some scary fable to keep the kiddos in line. No way he's real. No, Mr. Orlando, Yin is very real. Uh-huh. Da 
weiß aber jemand gut Bescheid dafür, dass er am Anfang sich so davon distanziert hat und befürchtet hat, mit ihm in Verbindung gebracht zu werden. Ua. Jedenfalls surpasses <coughs> a mere tall tale in the underworld of the Eastern Quarter. Though his true identity is unknown, Zimuria's greatest assassin can be employed for the right price. A master of all assassination techniques, a martial artist with incredible dexterity and agility who lurks in the shadows. He is recognized as such and his deadly work speaks to his existence. Das klingt fast als würde er ihn ein bisschen bewundern. A certain organization highly values Yin and entrusts many jobs to him, or so the rumor goes. Aber das macht die Sache natürlich auch dahingehend wieder schwierig, weil wenn er ein Auftragskiller ist, dann sind wir ja wieder komplett bei Null, weil dann geht es ja darum, den Auftraggeber ausfindig zu machen und da haben wir ja gerade aktuell noch gar keinen Hint. Hmm, the organization you are referring to... Ah, uh, yes, that reminds me, while we're on the topic of Yin, I've heard recent claims of Yin having vanished entirely from the Eastern Quarter. It has come to my attention that he has accepted a hefty job from the aforementioned organization. Apparently, it involved traveling to a certain autonomous state we're all familiar with. I don't like what you're implying. What's the matter? I haven't given you the name of the organization, have I? Nor the name of the state. Tch. You and Rivage are one and the same. Oh, please, refrain from comparing Hayu to that measly local gang. Or at least, that's what I'd like to say. Das ist genau wie mit den Testaments und den, und den, wie hießen die anderen, und den Vipers. Genau das gleiche irgendwie, nur auf höherer Ebene. Quite frankly, I'm more than impressed with how well they've managed to adapt to this peculiar city. Those persistent little pests have caused quite a bit of trouble for us. Uh, you fasten up? He's not even pretending anymore. I am merely referring to them as our fellow business competitors. Here in Crossbell, free trade is protected by law after all. Do you take issue with that, officers? Hmm. Uh, let me ask you this one final question. Has Ark and Seer been caught in the crossfire between you and Rivage? Oh? We just received information about Rivage's proposal for Ark and Seer to perform in the Imperial Capital. Were you considering a similar proposal too? I have no problem admitting that certain crowds in the Republic wish to be graced by their presence. However, our company is unconcerned with matters relating to the entertainment industry. I certainly am perplexed though. Why exactly was the threat letter signed with the name of an assassin? Uh, that's what I intend to find out. Weil wenn der, also ein professioneller Assassine, müsste sich ja namentlich gar nichts zu erkennen geben. Also entweder das ist irgendein Trittbrettfahrer oder jemand vielleicht, der uns auf die falsche Fährte locken will oder so. Thank you for your time, Carl. We appreciate your cooperation. Lloyd? You sure we're done here, man? I doubt we'd get much more out of him if we stayed any longer. Ich finde ich Lloyd gerade irgendwie ein bisschen egoistisch, weil ich meine, die sind ein Team. Der hat ja, bevor er aufsteht und geht, erstmal fragen können, hat sonst noch jemand fragen. Oder ist er jetzt hier der Einzige, der reden darf? And besides, Kao already seems more than busy enough, so we really should excuse ourselves. Ja, jetzt wo deine Fragen alle beantwortet sind. Lloyd's right. Uh, thank you for being so considerate. One more thing before you leave, Detective Bannings. Hier sind ganz Ohr, what is it? Come now, don't look so displeased. Do you recall me saying that I'm a big fan of the SSS? Believe me when I say that was no lie. Huh? I must say, this current investigation of yours absolutely fascinates me. As one of your fans, I can hardly wait to see how you resolve this one. I am most certainly looking forward to reading about it. Oh, das glaube ich dem nicht. Ich glaube, der nimmt uns komplett auf die, auf die Schippe. Das war doch gerade maximal zynisch, was der am Ende gesagt hat. Boah, ganz schwer. Thank you for stopping by, officers. The branch manager says you may contact us again should anything happen. We appreciate the offer. Boah, ganz schwierig, also mit den Infos, die wir jetzt haben, weiterzumachen. 
vor allen Dingen, weil wir nur mit wenig vertrauensvollen Leuten gesprochen haben, außer Grimwood. So now we have to worry about these guys on top of Revage. I wanna say, they at least seem a bit friendlier. Ja, aber auch nur oberflächlich, würde ich jetzt sagen. Or maybe they see us as so little of a threat, they think they can screw with us. That is not out of the realm of possibility. Und jetzt, Sir? Ellie, you okay? Are you feeling unwell? No, no, I'm fine. More importantly, we found out that the legendary assassin Yin has managed to infiltrate Crossbell State. We at least managed to get that information out of Kao. Yeah, it didn't seem like he was lying. Also, I don't get the impression that Kao is the one threatening Ark and Seal and Elia. I was thinking the same thing. If that were the case, no way he would have hinted at his connection to Yin. Then would that mean Yin's actions are not tied to his employer Hayu, but rather he uh, is acting of his own accord? We might be out of options if that's the case. Let's assume you're right. That means Kao probably doesn't know Yin's true identity. Sounds like our only option is to catch a legendary assassin then. Unfortunately... Yeah? If Yin is truly after Elia's life, then this case may be beyond our capabilities. Also, ganz ehrlich, das war auch mein Gedanke. Also, ich wüsste jetzt auch nicht, wie wir das aufhalten sollen. Also, wenn er einer der Besten der Besten ist, wie sollen wir mit den spärlichen Informationen dem jetzt auf die Schliche kommen? Wir sind wahrscheinlich nicht die Ersten, die es probieren würden. There's no guarantee that we'd be able to apprehend a professional assassin like Yin. That being the case, wouldn't it be better to leave this to headquarters? Well, that's... Would they not simply look the other way like they did the incident downtown? I doubt it. Arkansas and by extension Elia are incredibly important to the people of Crossbell. Headquarters would definitely take action if her life were in danger. They would stake their pride on it. Oh, uh, that's correct. Wer spricht Sergey? Nee, <laughs> ich habe irgendwie gerade auf Sergey getippt, weiß auch nicht. Ihr, ihr, yo with the first investigate investigative division. I am Alex Dudley. Haben wir den schon mal gesehen? Äh, uh, bin mir nicht sicher. Come with me. Huh? Why? Only a fool would discuss information here of all places. We don't have time to waste. Follow me. Uh, understood. Huh? What the hell's going on all of a sudden? Tja, wir werden wohl mitgehen müssen, um darauf eine Antwort zu finden. Ohne Kara hat er auch. Alles klar, ganz wichtiger also. Wo auch immer der uns hinbringt. Also ich meine, wir waren schon bei der Mafia, wir waren schon bei Hayu. Was soll uns jetzt noch passieren? What's the matter with all of you? I don't know what you were thinking, waltzing in there like that. Furthermore, you decided to discuss your investigation with within earshot of their building. Sorry, sir. You're right, we weren't being careful enough. <laughs> well, what's done is done. Well? Uh, well, what? You're going to explain to me what you were babbling on about with our conceal and how this all relates to your little visit to Hayu. You'd better tell me everything you know. Excuse me? Where the hell is this coming from? It is brazen of you to demand that after showing up so suddenly. I wonder which one of you, which one of us is truly brazen. The first division has been keeping tabs on Hayu for over a month already. You're the ones who barged into our investigation without any notice. Oh, wait, seriously? Th does that mean you're after Yin too? So you know about Yin, hmm? Well, no matter. Start talking and don't leave anything out. If you don't comply, I won't hesitate to file a complaint to Sergei over his, over this obstruction of our investigation. Damn it! All right, fine. However, our investigation is a formal request submitted to the SSS, so we need to stay, so we needed to stay confidential. I'll be the one to decide that. Out with the details already. This is an order. Oh, da ist aber jemand sehr überzeugt von sich. 
Ich meine, seine Position wird das vielleicht auch rechtfertigen, aber trotzdem, man kann das auch ein bisschen anständiger formulieren. Hm, I understand the situation. I didn't think there was anything concrete, but it seems they finally tipped their hand. Are you referring to Yin? Yes, I am. How you employed the legendary assassin as a trump card in order to threaten Rivage's influence. The First Division received an anonymous tip with information regarding Hayu. We've been surveying them since. But who would have thought a group of amateurs would stumble onto the scene and give us just the lead we needed? Wow, that almost sounded like a compliment. Yeah, but no, almost. I would like to inquire as to why you only had Hayu under your surveillance. I am under the, the impression that your team is leaving Ravage unchecked. What are you implying? The First Division already understands Ravage's operating procedure. We are also fully aware of both the incident downtown and how they've used Warhounds. Don't think for a second that we haven't kept tabs on the cases you've been getting involved in. Involved? Den letzten Case, den haben wir gelöst. Ist ja schön, dass ihr in euren schicken Büros da irgendwie Tabs über alles Mögliche führt, aber wir sind die, die draußen anpacken und uns darum kümmern, dass das gelöst wird. Was habt ihr vorzuweisen? Hm? What? Then why? If we got involved in every little thing they did, there would be no end to it. None of the incidents you took on were anything as serious as murder. They were simply petty crimes. Do you honestly think we'd put off more important cases to divert our limited personnel to such minor issues? I understand that, but still. Those of us in the First Division are leagues apart from no-nothings like yourselves. Oh, es wird ja immer, wird ja immer charmanter hier. We're charged with maintaining a certain degree of order in a city where justice is a constant uphill battle. We're expected to suppress major, major crimes and protect the public from criminal organizations and foreign intelligence agencies. Can you possibly fathom the work that goes into that? I knew it. I always had a feeling. Crossbelt's peace and prosperity are hanging by a thread. Yes, and most of the citizens fail to realize it. Sure, it might be popular to read stories on Ravage's ties to Imperial Faction Diet members. Meanwhile, Hayu is in the process of deepening their relationship with the Republican Faction. If we allow it to progress any further, they will be untouchable. Our laws against espionage are lax as well. Agents from foreign intelligence agencies are free to enter and leave however they'd like. I never realized. This is unbelievable. Way you're talking, Crossbell's already got one foot in the grave. In a situation as desperate as this, our only option is to simply do what we're able to. We assess how dangerous each case is, and even if we can't solve the root cause of it, we can at least lessen the impact. Handling Yin is nothing more than solving one part of a larger puzzle. We haven't been able to keep a close watch on the case regarding Ark and Seal. Thank you for the valuable information. The First Division will handle it from here. You may return to your usual duties. Um, what? The hell is this crap? After carefully assessing the situation, I've ascertained that Yin is more than a mere legend. We'll be observing Hayu's movements while protecting Elia Platea from falling victim to our mysterious assassin. Tell me, would you be able to handle all of that? D damn it. Given our lack of resources, it would prove to be difficult. Hmm. At the very least, I can let you handle contacting Ark and Seal. Make sure you tell them that their case has been transferred to the First Division. See to it that they're given a proper explanation. Mm -hmm. Das dürfen dann doch wir übernehmen, ja? Oh, wie nett. Krass, ey. Also anstatt irgendwie Hand in Hand zu arbeiten. Ich meine, der hätte uns ja auch darauf hinweisen können, ohne uns die ganze Zeit runterbuttern zu müssen. Ganz übler Typ auf jeden Fall. What the hell? He just shows up, gives us shit, takes our case and then drives off. And in a personal vehicle at that, adding insult to injury. 
Hm. Ellie benimmt sich irgendwie die ganze Zeit komisch. As frustrated as we all are, I understand where he's coming from. Hmm. I actually agree with him. The scope of this case has gone way beyond our level of experience. Und wir haben kurz bevor er in Erscheinung getreten ist, das hat der Ellie ja angemerkt, ja, eh schon festgestellt, dass das eigentlich eine Nummer zu groß ist für uns. Also, ich bin überhaupt nicht böse auf den, dass er uns den Fall jetzt abgenommen hat. Ich fand nur die Art, wie er mit uns gesprochen hat, sehr unterirdisch. All we can do now is inform the troop and offer our sincerest apologies. No, guess you're right. We have run out of options. Uh, hold on, guys. Jetzt kommt Ellis Auftritt. Darauf habe ich gewartet. Da schwebt doch was in ihr. And Lloyd, you're the last person I expected to hear that from. You told us to overcome our barriers. You said as long as we're together that no barrier is too high, didn't you? So why? Why are you giving up so easily? Hä, aber hat nicht Ellie... War nicht Ellie diejenige, die vorhin noch meinte, dass das vielleicht nicht in unserem in unserer Reichweite liegt, das zu, das zu lösen? Äh, uh, Ellie? Whoa there, where's this coming from? Didn't you already tell us it would be better to leave it to headquarters? Genau, danke Randy, da ist nochmal die Bestätigung. Wait, is that... I did... didn't I? Ja, hast du. Ellie. I understand. I'm frustrated too, Ellie. I want to do something about it just as much as you do. If you don't want us to give up, then we'll find another way. No, it's all right. I'm sorry, everyone. I think I've just had a rough day, is all. Ellie. Well, we did spend our entire day running into one jackass after another. Let's go report the news to Ark and Seal. We can head back to base and relax for a bit after. That sounds like a reasonable plan. Sure, sounds good. Is that okay with you, Ellie? Yes, thank you, everyone. Let's be off to Ark and Seal then. Den Ausbruch von ihr habe ich gerade ehrlich gesagt aber auch nicht verstanden. Also ich hätte ihn verstanden, wenn, wenn sie halt vorher nicht selber das mit Headquarters vorgeschlagen hätte. Ähm, aber das kam halt von ihr. Naja. Dann äh, gucken wir mal, was wir für eine Reaktion ernten. Die werden bestimmt nicht amused sein. Warte mal, warum zur Hölle laufe ich schon wieder, wenn ich auch den hier machen kann? So, da sind wir nämlich ein bisschen schneller. Und, werden wir schon empfangen? Hä? Huh? Äh, uh, okay. Wer ist das? Warte mal kurz. So. Oh! Elderly Gentleman. Oh, what a surprise. Good afternoon, Miss Ellie. Kennen wir uns? Also, die kennen sie auf jeden Fall. Hello, Grandfather Ernest. Oh, ihre Familie. Okay. Hi, hi. Did I hear her right? This man is Ellie's grandfather. Sieht so aus. Auf jeden Fall ein sehr betuchter alter Mann. It's been some time. I'm glad to see you're looking well. How has work been going? Well, well. Oh Gott, die arme Ellie, ey. Die hatte jetzt schon so einen harten Tag und jetzt äh, ist das ja wahrscheinlich der krönende Abschluss dafür. Es sei denn, sie freut sich, aber ich glaube irgendwie nicht. We're still new to this, so there's a lot left for us to learn. But I assure you, I don't intend to bring any shame upon the McDowell name. Oh, Ellie, I've told you before, haven't I? You don't have to worry yourself over things like that. Are these your colleagues by chance? Yeah, yes, they are. It's nice to meet you, sir. My name is Lloyd Bennings and I'm with the CPD Special Support Section. Tio Plato, how do you do? How's it going? Name's Randy Orlando. My name is Henry McDowell. It's a pleasure to meet the three of you. I must thank you for taking care of my granddaughter. It's quite the opposite, sir. Ellie's the one that's always looking after us. Das hat er schon gesagt. Mademoiselle Lee's a bona fide genius when it comes to dealing with all the paperwork we gonna go through every day. That does not excuse your utter lack of assistance, Randy. Oh, Tio, ey, das muss man doch jetzt nicht vor der, vor der Familie von Ellie hier austragen. Um, um, <laughs> Is that so? Well, what is important is that you're content with your post. You know, Miss Ellie, I really think you should make some time to stop by home every once in a while. Uh, I'm sorry. 
I've been hesitant to rely too much on my family since I began living on my own. Even so, don't you? It's fine, Ernest. Ellie wishes to stand by her decision. Listen, dear, continue down the path you've chosen until you're satisfied. I cannot mix business with personal affairs, but know that I will help you out to the best of my ability. I know, thank you, Grandfather. Now then, shall we go, Ernest? I have a meeting with the Business Owners Association next, correct? Uh, yes, sir, it's scheduled for 5 p.m. Aber was haben die jetzt hier bei Ark and Seal gemacht? Einfach nur Tickets gekauft? Oder steckt da mehr dahinter? Aber eigentlich fand ich den Grandfather ganz nett, so im Umgang mit Ellie. Ich hab, hab mir den, als ich den zuerst gesehen habe, irgendwie so streng vorgestellt. Aber der war eigentlich ganz lieb zu ihr. Ich weiß gar nicht, hat sie sich jemals zu ihrem Verhältnis mit dem Grandfather geäußert? Die sind auf jeden Fall nicht nach Hause gefahren. Also die wohnen ja irgendwo im Residential District, das haben wir ja schon gesehen, wir standen ja schon vor den Toren. Uh, now that's one bitchin' ride. I knew your family was loaded, Mademoiselle. Uh, um, I wouldn't really... Wait just a second. Was denn? Whoa there! Um, Lloyd? He said Henry McDowell, right? As in the mayor of Prosper City? That Henry McDowell? Yeah. Say what? He is... Come to think of it, I do recall seeing that information in the database. Uh, oh dear. Honestly, it's a miracle that you hadn't noticed until now. Uh, there was always something about your surname that bothered me, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. The mayor's name must have totally slipped my mind, I guess. Uh, and I call myself a detective. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. Besides, my grandfather's position has nothing to do with me. Oh? Anyway, we should hurry and speak with Elia and the others. We still need to tell them about the First Division taking over the case. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yo, Mademoiselle, why do you think your granddad stopped by Ark and Seal? Das ist die wichtige Frage, Randy. Das interessiert mich auch. Oh, that? Ark and Seal's first public performance of their new production is being held alongside this year's anniversary festival. I assume he was here for a business meeting regarding that. Mhm. Mm okay. Na dann. Jetzt bei euch was Neues. <gasps> das ist was Neues. Excuse me, what were you doing at Ark and Seal? Mm, I smell something fishy here. You don't work for the troupe, do you? Oh, please don't mind us. We're acquainted with a few of the employees. Hey, we're technically not lying, right? Is so. I'll be keeping my eye on you. I'm doing... I'm going to flip out if I catch you trying to sneak in. Hey, wir haben einen Freifahrtschein, okay? Das geht dich gar nichts an. That new girl, Rishia, keeps leaving and coming back for some reason. You think she keeps forgetting things at home? Nee. <laughs> Ich glaube, daran wird es nicht liegen. Aber irgendwie ist es niedlich, dass er davon ausgeht. So, ich mache jetzt mal meine Androhung wahr und gucke nochmal den Amorika vorbei. Ne, da gab es jetzt noch nichts Neues. Deswegen habe ich das auch entsprechend abgekürzt. Dann lass uns hier einfach mal gucken, was für Reaktionen wir bekommen, wenn wir jetzt hier alle updaten. Oh, do you wish to speak with Elia or the troop leader? Am besten beide. You may proceed. They should be practicing in the auditorium. They've been at it since morning. Äh, uh, ja, das habe ich mir schon gedacht. Außer, außer Rishia, die ja hier immer hin und her läuft, wie wir gehört haben. That sounds like music from the play. Elia must be still practicing. We should be able to find her on stage then. Let's head in through the main doors. Der Text war auf jeden Fall neu. Uh, Elia seems to be on stage. Try entering the auditorium through the main doors. Okay. Man wird ja wohl noch probieren dürfen, nicht? Oh. Äh, das ist aber dunkel hier. Wahrscheinlich sind nur vorne auf der Bühne Lichter. Oha. Oha. Wie hübsch. Ich will die beiden im Team haben. Aber ich bin eher Team Rishia. Aber ich bin auch eher Team Moon. Ich mag den Mond mehr als die Sonne. Von daher wenig verwunderlich wahrscheinlich. Phew. Hm. <lacht> oh, look. You're back. Uh, and just in time too. That was amazing. You two are incredible. 
Indeed, I have never experienced anything quite like that. Uh, you think so? Sounds like if we iron out the kings, this might become a crowd favorite. Oh, that gives me an idea. How about you wait another moment before the moon princess spin, Rishia? That way, it will give the sun princess just enough time to react in a way that will really capture the audience's hearts. That's perfect. Uh, your dancing isn't the only thing that's amazing. Ich bin nur überrascht, weil ich glaube, in real life würden das gar nicht die, die uh, Actresses unter sich ausmachen, sondern da hast du ja immer irgendjemanden, der die anweist und das beobachtet und dann solche Vorschläge einbringt. Also eigentlich ist es voll unrealistisch, dass die hier zu zweit stehen und kein, uh, uh, ich weiß nicht, wie diese Leute heißen, die das Ganze, so, so eine Art quasi Regisseur oder so, weißt du, das so begleitet und kommentiert. Naja, you're going above and beyond to perfect every little part of the performance. Uh, well, I figure if we can do it, we might as well strive for perfection till it's time to perform. But enough about that. Have there been any developments in the investigation? Oh, that's right. Uh, yes, actually. Uh, it's uh, not exactly good news. Well, what do you mean? Hmm, alright then. Let me go grab Evan and then you can fill us in on everything, okay? Let's go to the Mikro wieder ein bisschen verrücken. So, am Ende ist Evan Yin oder so. Also irgendeinen krassen Twist wird es hier wahrscheinlich noch geben in dem ganzen Zusammenhang. This Yin character sounds like he's quite dangerous. Uh, you can't be serious. He's really somewhere in the city. Das wissen wir doch noch gar nicht. Also, vielleicht, also, na ja gut, wenn er das, das Kärtchen da selber geschrieben hat, aber weiß nicht. Wow, well, that sure is a fun story. Fun? Komische Definition davon. A shadowy immortal assassin whose legend is whispered in the dark corners of the eastern quarter. Oh, I love it. The character practically begs to be on the stage. I have to add him to our next production. Heck, we can even work the general outfit into our third act right now. We're just gonna get some white robes and the costume is set. Die nimmt es halt null ernst, ne? Finde ich irgendwie auch ein bisschen... Unfair Rishia gegenüber, die sich ja ernsthaft Sorgen macht. Naja. Oh, Ilia. This is an assassin we're talking about. Why can't you take this more seriously? We suspect that Yin is being employed by a group known as Heyu. But we still don't quite understand why Yin sent Ilia the threat letter in the first place. One thing is certain though, the chance that this is nothing more than a prank has decreased significantly. Is there any chance you could postpone or... Out of the question. We wouldn't walk off the stage even if a bomb was about to go off. Isn't that right, Evan? Well, I suppose so. Though we aren't all quite as inse uh, passionate as Elia, the truth is that all members of Ark and Seer belong to the stage, heart and soul. You wouldn't find one member of the troop who would abandon their beloved stage under any circumstances. Uh, um, I may be new to all this, but I feel the same way. Yeesh, I'm sure people tell you to break a leg out there, but at this rate your legs will be the least of your worries. If you intend to proceed with the show, does that mean you are also okay with the first division taking over security? Well, I mean, it is pretty annoying, but the show must go on, no matter the cost. So, what kind of people are these First Division guys? Ja, wir kennen nur den einen so richtig. Also, nicht mal so richtig, aber ein bisschen. Und das reicht schon. Um, well, they are definitely very talented and uh, more than qualified for the job. <laughs> das hat er sehr diplomatisch ausgedrückt. Objectively speaking, they're excellent at what they do. Das stimmt wahrscheinlich auch. The members of the First Division are an elite group that live up to their name. They should be able to protect you and your show with the utmost discretion un until curtain call. Uh, I was really hoping to avoid having a bunch of police in here. Then again, we will have a full house, better safe than sorry. So is it. I agree. I think that's for the best. Anyway, we are talking about you here, Ilya. Once the show starts, you won't even notice them. Uh, how rude. I have you know that I always pay close attention to my audience. 
The show only reaches its full potential when the audience and play are completely in sync. Ja, aber die Polizei ist ja streng genommen nicht dein Audience, ne? Also, und somit auch nicht dein Fokus. Isn't that one of your famous sayings? Uh, for anyone else's case, yes. In yours, however, I'd say it's more along the lines of you forcibly dragging everyone into your own performance. Ja, die zwei, ey, ne? Da haben sich ja zwei gefunden. He's not missing his words at all, is he? Indeed, she is surely the very picture of a theater geek. Uh, excuse me, Lloyd. Does this mean you won't be part of the investigation anymore? Achso, ich dachte, das wäre schon angekommen. Uh, I'm really sorry, Vishia. We don't have much wiggle room here. The First Division is going to completely take over the case. With them on it, you won't have anything to worry about, at least. I see. That's a shame. Uh, the only reason I agreed to all this in the first place was because you were leading the show, Lloyd. Still, I appreciate you looking into things for us. I'll send some tickets your way as thanks, so be sure to come and see the play next time you're free. Oh yes, I'm sure we can arrange something, though I'm afraid you may have to wait until after the anniversary festival. If you're okay with tickets for next month, I can have them sent to you as gifts. Mm, seriously? Hell yes, and here I was thinking I'd have to wait two months to see it. It is quite generous, thank you very much. Ellie, was ist sie denn so komisch hier in letzter Zeit, Ellie? Sie grübelt so viel und sagt so wenig Konkretes. Und wenn sie was sagt, dann tickt sie aus oder ist irgendwie Opfer ihrer, ihrer Emotion. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've caused you nothing but trouble. Don't worry about it, Rishia. All the running around we did today is a pretty typical workday for us. It is all simply part of the job. Yep, no worries, Rishia. Forget about us and just focus on your guys' preview performance. If you say so, then I will. Thank you, everyone. Gern geschehen. Preview performance. The hell? You don't know about it already? Ark and Seal puts on a sneak peek of their new show before it's available to the public. That's correct. This will be my first time performing in one. People all over the continent from both the from both the industry and the media will be attending. I'm sure many influential people have been invited too in order to boost awareness of our new show. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Uh, by any chance, was Mayor McDowell invited as well? Oh yes, he's our guest of honor. I'm told he plans uh, to support the show in conjunction, conjunction with the anniversary festival. He's quite kind. Despite his busy schedule, he made time to stop by and encourage us. How very much like him. Sehr schön. Sie mag ihn also, glaube ich auch. Good luck with the preview, Rishia. It may be your first time, but I'm sure you'll perform wonderfully. You think so? Absolutely. Considering all the practice you've put in, I doubt you have anything to worry about. Hell yeah, this place gonna bring down the house. I am quite looking forward to it. I really appreciate the kind words, everyone. I'll get back to my practice then. Thank you for all your help. Gern geschehen. Wir sind deine Freunde, Rishia. Die ist cool. Ich habe bisher noch nichts an ihr gefunden, was mich irgendwie stört. Ah, ready to head back, guys? Might as well. I feel exhausted, both mentally and physically. Me too. Ich will, dass wir uns alle abends zusammensetzen und mit Ellie reden. Ah, guck mal, die beiden stehen hier noch. Das heißt, die haben gerade gesehen, dass wir mit Rishia gesprochen haben, oder nicht? Good luck with practice, Lady Elia. I'll be rooting for you. Aber die sind ja auch Elia fans und keine Rishia-Fans, ne? Ark and Seal is still rehearsing for their new production, so there's no show to look forward to today. But don't you just get excited from admiring the theater all lit up in the dark? Uh, well, even if they do put on shows, I don't think a pure student like myself will ever have the chance to see them. But I'm okay with that, really. I'm just happy to marvel at the theater all lit up in the dark. So. Jetzt hat sich die Tageszeit verändert, verändert und auch wenn es nervig ist, vor allen Dingen für mich in der Nachbearbeitung. Hä? Ich komme jetzt gar nicht mehr raus. Ich komme mir gar nicht mehr raus. Ich wollte mal nach Amorica wieder rüber watscheln, aber geht nicht. 
Ich komme nur in dieses Menü, wo ich gar nicht hin will. Aber das heißt wahrscheinlich im Umkehrschluss, wo probiere ich das jetzt am besten? Ich versuche jetzt hier mal nach Süden rauszugehen. Das wird höchstwahrscheinlich nicht funktionieren. Ja, yeah, I'm absolutely beat. How about we just head straight back to the SSS building? Dann machen wir das doch, Leute. Alles andere können wir doch mit unserem Gewissen nicht vereinbaren. Ich gehe immer den falschen Weg, ey. Es triggert mich so sehr. Ich bin selbst mein größter Trigger. Schon seit Jahren. Oh. Wait, isn't that? Wer ist das? Wir kennen uns bestimmt, oder? Sein Aussehen sagt mir gerade nichts. Ach, das ist der Ernest, die Begleitung von dem, von dem Opa von äh, Ellie. Oh, thank goodness. I was just starting to wonder if I came to the wrong place. Nee, alles gut. Ernest, did you come to see me? Yes, I did. I had business to attend to at the office, so I decided to stop by. Aha, uh -huh. Ellie. What's wrong? You don't look too great. Well, if I remember correctly, you guys were visiting Ark and Seal earlier today, right? Did you run into some sort of problem with your police work? Well, well, sort of. It's not anything major, but someone in the troop requested our help and um, we went to report what we found, that's all. Mm, you know, I wasn't sure if I should stop by here today or not, but I'm sure now that it was the right decision. What do you mean? Allow me to be honest with you. Ellie, I want you to quit the forest and return to us. Us? Uh, quit the forest? What? Whoa there, buddy. That came out of left field. Uh, I get the impression this does not stem from feelings of love, at least. I know it was your idea to join the CPD, Ellie. But seeing you now, you look so worn down, so lost. Are you sure this is really the right path for you? Well, what are you saying, Ernest? Listen to me. I know you understand the current political climate and the despair that comes with it better than anyone. And that's likely where your initial urge to join the police originated from. But just try to think about the torment uh, and pain the mayor is going through, how he feels in the current situation. I... With the anniversary festival coming up next month, Mayor McDowell is up to his neck in work. And after that, it's right back to arguing with the Imperial and Republican factions over the budget. And in six months, he'll be up for re-election. As I'm sure you know, Mayor McDowell has planned to retire, but without someone to carry on his policies, he feels like he can't. I'm sure that if you were by his side, he'd feel much more confident about being able to keep going with his work. Ja, aber hier geht's gerade ausschließlich um ihn und nicht um Ellie, so wie du es gerade begründest. Hm. Uh, I'm sorry, perhaps I'm overstepping. However, I can't ignore the issue any longer. As someone who respects Mayor McDowell and has been with your family for years, I cannot stand idle any longer. Ernest. Of course, the path you ultimately choose to follow, is in to, to follow is entirely up to you. I just want you to stop and think hard about whether this path you're on now is the right one. Mm, uh, I'm going to need some time. Excuse me, everyone. I'm tired, so I'm going to go rest in my room for now. Sh sure. Boah, die Arme, ey. Als wäre das heute nicht alles schon genug gewesen. My apologies for suddenly showing up out of the blue like this. Also zwei Sachen muss ich jetzt echt mal bemängeln, Ernest, die ich echt scheiße finde. Erstens ist das ein Ding, was ihr, finde ich, unter vier Augen hättet besprechen sollen. Und zweitens ist der Zeitpunkt echt extrem ungünstig, weil äh, wir den ganzen Tag schon am Ackern sind. Gut, das kann er jetzt nicht unbedingt wissen, aber er hat ja fragen können, ob sie gerade fünf Minuten hat und sie hätte ihm bestimmt gesagt, nee, lass uns lieber morgen sprechen oder nächste Woche oder keine Ahnung was. It's uh, okay, it seems to be a pretty complicated family matter. Just try not to bother Mademoiselle for a while, you got it? Seconded. Personally, it feels like you are attempting to take Ellie away from us. Uh, I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. However, you are aware she originally wanted to become a politician before joining the police, aren't you? Um, nee, really? Huh? You're pulling my leg. 
that would explain her seemingly boundless knowledge of politics and economics. As the granddaughter of the current mayor, she grew up surrounded by politics. It was only natural for her to want to pursue a career in it. To that end, she studied abroad in a number of different nations to hone her skills for international relations and learn foreign policies. However, when she returned home last year, she was dead set on joining the CPD. So that's what happened. I was unaware. I did always wonder why a fancy lady like herself was working for the CPD. Would you keep an eye on her until she makes her decision? Ja, sowieso. I can't bear to see her flounder about like this, unsure of the path in life she should take. Und da bimmeln auch schon die Glocken. Goodness, it's already gotten so late. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll get out of your hair now. Ah, uh, okay then. Hmm. Na gut. Ich wette aber, Ellie wird sich noch ein bisschen Zeit lassen, bis sie darauf eine Antwort findet. Und ich wette, sie wird bei uns bleiben. Ah, there certainly has been a great deal to sigh about today. Sure has, we got put through so much shit. Definitely one of those days that just kicks you in the nuts over and over. I know what you mean. Anyway, let's report back to the chief and call it a day. Das klingt nach einem guten Plan. Ich dachte, wir könnten uns wieder frei bewegen. Äh, uh, Chief Search, ja, Zeit gibt's ja auch noch, ne? Hab ich irgendwie gar nicht mehr auf dem Schirm gehabt. Hm, so that's where things stand. Well, you're gonna tuck your tail between your legs and give up here. Uh, you're saying we have a choice? The first division took over the case, there's no way we can oppose them, given our team's position on the force. Yeah, guess not. The fox would track you down and give you his longest bitching session yet. Probably. Could we not simply offer our assistance to the first division? Don't know how well that would play out considering the shit we got from that glasses wearing dick. Yep, that's also a long shot. The CPD is real fussy when it comes to jurisdiction. Makes cooperation between departments a real pain in the ass. That goes double for the first division. No way a group of elites like them would accept help from a group of rookies like the SSS. But if you're talking about working incognito, that's another topic altogether. Uh, sir? Hey, this is the special support section, the most unconventional department on the force. Sure, HQ tends to ignore us, but that gives you guys a certain level of discretion you can use to your advantage. Basically, long as you stay quiet about it, you can poke your noses onto other departments' jurisdictions without sending them into a tizzy. Um, you do realize just said... You do realize just... Nee, you do realize you just said we can ignore our superior's orders, right? What a bad influence. Hey, it's like I told you before. I might not be able to help you in the field, but I cover your asses when I can. In the end, you guys will need to be the ones who take action, though. Hmm, that being said, your current situation might make this plan impossible to pull off. One of you is struggling to figure out what to do. And this is something you can only overcome by operating as a team. You're right, but... Yeah, it's hard to get fired up without Mademoiselle with us. The way she was acting, it was like her head was somewhere else entirely. She has been like that all day from what I could tell. Is Ellie going to be alright? Hmm, das wissen wir alle nicht. Wir können nur Daumen drücken. Vielleicht das Gespräch jetzt noch mit ihr suchen. Aber ob das was bringt? Ich glaube ja eher nicht. Ich mag diese Abendszenen in den Trades spielen irgendwie. Ich weiß nicht warum. Gut, ihr Lieben, ich werde jetzt an dieser Stelle wieder mal mitten im Geschehen. I'm very sorry. Aber bevor wir Lloyds Gedanken lauschen, mache ich jetzt erstmal einen Cut und wir werden uns bei ihm auf seinem Bett in seinem Zimmer beim nächsten Mal an dieser Stelle wiedersehen. Ich bedanke mich fürs Einschalten und würde mich sehr freuen, wenn ihr auch beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei seid. Macht's gut und bis dahin, wenn ihr mögt. Ciao!